Hey everyone, I have my empty basket in here and what I've pulled for my December melting basket as of, or I guess I should say my Christmas melting basket because I'm going to start this um, on after Thanksgiving. I'm filming this the Wednesday before and I'm going to probably start melting all of this like on Friday, which is why I'm switching up my basket. Um... But I wanted to show y'all what um, I'm going to have in here for the Christmas time. So um, the first thing, actually, I'm going to put this Murder of Crows in because I'm going to melt stuff on Thanksgiving and I think this could be good. So um, this is from that small goods shop. It's It smells really good. The nutmeg and the cinnamon and the cozy fire i picked them all up um so maybe i'll melt that tomorrow and in that same vein is this celtic moon spice which is cinnamon nutmeg and clove it was in my unempties video i talked about it there it's i'm having an interesting <laughs> experience with this melt i feel like sometimes it's light and sometimes it's heavy maybe it's just um i'd say it only lasts a few hours but um I do find like that even later on in the day, I'll, if I catch a whiff of it, it's like strong, but it's just, I'm not really getting that all the time. So I don't know, but I'll probably melt this tomorrow just to finish it. And then let's get into actually Christmas themed stuff. Um, the first thing is this Campfire Mallow Cranberry Woods Toasted Mallow Whipped Cream from L3 Waxy Wonders. It was in a sampler I got last year it's I chopped it already um so that I can start using it um the cranberry is really strong which is the point <laughs> and the um I definitely think with the mallow and the whipped cream there's like two types of mallow oils in here I guess that um you definitely pick up on so it's basically like cranberry and like kind of toasted mallow vibes um so it's good and it's going to be in here for December. Um, I have these. Actually, I think there's another one of these. I'll have to find it. But um, I got this like little, these three little things as freebies from Nerdy Wax, who is no longer open. Um, they were part of a Christmas collection he had. This one is Red Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I've actually never smelled it. Ooh, I cannot tell what it smells like. It has a cute, like, Rudolph on it. I, it smells seasonal, but I cannot put my finger on it at all. Um, it's just, like, the mini shot cup, so I'll probably put it in, like, in the morning, and that'll be it. Um, this is a Christmas story, same, like, collection. What a cute wreath thing on it. Oh, my God. I really can't tell what this is. It's like a little powdery. I don't know. I really can't tell what this is. But um, I'll be melting it for sure. They're also rather old. Or not that old. But I think I got them last year. This is Christmas Vacation. Oh, I have little lights in it. That's so cute. Uh, little Christmas lights. Ooh, this is a definitely like a Vanilla Bean Noel smell. Smells really good. Definitely will melt that. Um, so this, if you've been watching any of my videos, this lavender, sugared lavender twist keeps getting dragged along. I, I'm going to pretend it has like a sugar plum fairy vibe so that I just melt it soon. Um, it's just too sweet. And I... I'm like, oh, but you'll want a lavender and you can reach for it. But then even when I do, I'm like, I know it's too sweet. So, but I'd love to, I'd love to get it out. So here's to December that this scent does not follow me into the new year. The actual um, scent I think I will use for headaches at nighttime will probably be this Sweater Weather and Eucalyptus from Rose Girls. It smells so bomb. It's literally this. It's literally... The perfect sweater weather type and eucalyptus. It smells so good. I have melted some already, but I mean, don't be surprised if I finish it is all. 
Um, sorry, y'all. I film on my phone. I'm getting some messages. Um, this is Pacific Woods Frosted Juniper and Cranberry Woods from the same Cranberry Sampler. It's definitely a wintry, crisp, icy kind of mood. I think it's like the Juniper, the Frosted Juniper. Um, it's really bomb. I cut it. I can't wait to use it. I have this one. I want to say Q, but it's a circle. Carryover from like last year, Yankee Candle Balsam and Cedar. It is a perfect like Christmas tree type smell. Um, definitely will finish this uh, this season. Then I have this Woodwick one. These perform okay for me, but I I've had it since last year. I'm pretty sure it's Fraser Fur. So crisp winter morning, classic Fraser smell. I did melt one. Yeah, it's heavy tree, but I'm into that So for Christmas. So I like that. And this is fir balsam and plum, which is plum, blackberry, currant, fir balsam, clove, thyme, amber, applewood, and tonka. I like tonka. Um, oh, yeah, this smells good. It's definitely like a sweeter tree, but the tree is still very present. It's really good. Ugh, this smells really good. And then I'm going to try to get through two brittles. Um, Christmas at Santa's, which is pepperberry wreath, sugar cookies, and marshmallow fireside. I bought this last year, I believe. Does she put dates on them? No, she doesn't, but ooh. This one's good. That wreath is really nice with the sugar cookie and the marshmallow fireside. Ooh, this smells good. I can't wait to get to that. And then I know for sure I bought this last year. I bought those last year at the end of the year. Um, this is winter mintons. It's snow covered berries, pine needles, wormwoods, moss, and musk. Um, I actually don't remember. Ooh, yeah. Honestly, it's a little sweater weathery. Um, it has that vibe to it. Really good. I don't pick up on like berries, but the pine needles, warm woods. Really, really like this. Ugh, let's see if the brittle fits. I can probably move something. Hold on. There we go. So that's my pretty full basket. I put my empties in this last slot. And that's my basket for December. I actually bought a lot of wax recently, so you'll probably see a video related to that soon. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Bye!